Hey, what's up guys? Tim here. Got another video for you today. I'm doing something a little different. Just doing a kind of overview and review of this uh, paracord accessory that I found or I happened to come across. This is a uh, paracord fire starter survival buckle. So uh, yeah, it's just a plastic buckle that has a few neat features and you can use it, as you can see, to make a uh, paracord bracelet or I'm sure you can use it, you know, to attach to any other sort of uh, strapping and whatever and whatnot on your backpack. Anyways, uh, I just did a simple cobra stitch or cobra knot bracelet with this and I just wanted to go over the buckle itself. Alright, so uh, starting out, as you can see, it's got a uh, survival whistle here on this side, which does work. I'll just quickly uh, test it out for you. So it does work. I'm not going to blow on it too loud, but uh, it does sound like it can get pretty loud. And for the main feature itself, as you can see here, uh, sort of concealed inside the buckle is a ferro rod. And it does have some scratches on it because I've been uh, testing it and using it. And on this side we have a blade or the striker for the ferro rod. And it's also, um, it's also pretty sharp so it can cut and scrape stuff. It is removable. You can take it out like that. As you can see there. Just put this back in. Alright, so um, yeah, uh, and just to quickly show you uh, how it does work. So what I did notice was that um, this particular striking kind of scraper, uh, it's a lot more effective. You see how there's ridges on one side and it's kind of smooth on this side here. Like that It's a lot more effective, so if I bend the bracelet this way, if I have the uh, the ridges on this side and I'm striking away from it. Um, so if you do use it this way, see how now the ridges are on the outside facing out, you might want to just twist it around like that. Okay, so um, what I'll do is I'm actually going to I'll just turn my lamp off here so you can see the spark a bit better. Alright, so I'm going to just strike it a few times to show you. So as you can see, it does work. Right? So, uh, that being said, one thing I did notice is, um, so if you compare, you see the sort of width of the scraper here and the, the sort of clearance you have in between the two uh, plastic prongs of the buckle. They're, it's pretty much the exact uh, width, you know, you almost don't have any clearance. So what ends up happening is when you're scraping this, you sometimes tend to hit the kind of uh, the buckles here and see it does get kind of scraped up. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, this is, you know, obviously for survival purposes, so you're probably not going to worry about um, scratching your buckle, but uh, that's just one thing uh, to note. So you do have to kind of uh, you know, give it enough clearance when you're scraping, otherwise you'll like get jammed up on it and you won't be able to generate enough force to generate a spark. Okay, um, but yeah, as you can see it does work. As a buckle itself, uh, it works fine. It is a flat buckle, as you can see, so it uh, doesn't look as nice when it's, you know, made into a bracelet, but, uh, you know, it works just fine when you wear it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, these are made in China, so um, just keep that in mind. Uh, overall quality is you know, it's quite decent though, you know, for what it is. And um, I wouldn't say it would like, say, replace your, you know, primary uh, method of fighting, starting a fire, whether it be with, you know, just a lighter matches or, um, you know, an actual dedicated ferro rod and striker. Um, but it is, you know, in a pinch, this would clearly, it would work, um, you know, and this would be good to have something like this on your wrist, just in case you did lose your, um, you know, fire starter kit or something like that or everything else was exhausted and you still had this on your wrist you know that would do um, it'd probably do just fine all right so that is about it I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys because uh, I'm always looking out for you know new and interesting things to share about uh, in the paracord world and that's about it so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of overview and review 
Uh, please do like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And uh, stay tuned for more paracord tutorials and other paracord related videos, all right? And uh, stick till the end to see any and all related links to some videos that you guys might like, all right? So see you guys next time.